YouTubers and welcome to another episode here on ESGN Net and this is Instantly 14 Highland Scotty's Team Builder Dynasty here today as we're in episode 33 and we are getting ready for week 14 of the regular season as you see there Stanford ranked number 10 in the nation right now you see some of their offensive rankings right now as for Highland they're ranked number five in the nation and of course in the top 25 in a lot of the offensive rankings so as you see there we are not the heavy favorites this week as Kirk Hibbertry there is uh, going to be rooting for Stanford there. You see Stanford 10 and 1 for the season and 7 and 1 for the uh, conference play there in the Pac-12. Now, take a look at Stanford and they have been on a roll ever since their second game of the season. Uh, there you see UCLA. They lost that close one there, 37 to 33. And then since then, they've been on a tear, destroying teams left and right in their own conference and oddly enough they lost to Washington who are currently uh, have only two losses in the uh, conference there uh, and they are ranked number one in the nation right now so that is kind of weird there's uh, this game there's a lot online it's a senior day here at Highland as we'll see uh, of course uh, the uh, red shirts uh, junior here uh, Flanagan and K uh, Kason there he will run for six yards on that play as uh, Kaysan is, of course, a junior himself. And we'll see him on the field here today. He, of course, he's going to be up for the Heisman. And this is really his last chance now to kind of show what uh, to the posters of what he can do before the uh, big uh, reveal of the Heisman. Just take a look there. And there you see a good catch there from Hunter Cannon. He gets eight yards on the play. And that is going to be a first down. As Highland's going to go ahead and advance the ball now. First and ten. They're on their own, I believe, uh, their own 35-yard uh, line here. We'll see now Highland here again, and we'll see a handout there to, whoa, Kaysan, and Kaysan's going to lose this one, but Flanagan will get there on time. He'll recover the fumble. As you see there, 46 touchdown passes already for this season for Alex Flanagan, and, of course, he's up for the Heisman also. So that's a loss of five on the play as we go to now to a second and 15 for Highland. As we'll see what Highland the Scotties will be able to do here in this one. As it's going to be a play action here. Flanagan drops back, fires, looks for Cannon. Cannon, the Cannon will get that one across the 50. That's a 20 yard gain there for a huge first down. So now, first and 10 for Highland now. As we'll see what the Scotties will do here. Hand this one off to Kayson. Kayson here, he gets stopped and gets stuffed there. But he'll get two on the play. As that's going to be a, now a second and eight here for the Scotties. So Cardinals here having a tough time getting the Scotties off the field here as this is still the first drive of the ball game here. As we'll see Flanagan here drops back here, throws this one up the middle there, zips that one to Little, and Little will get a huge catch there, 14 yards on the reception. That's a huge first down. As now we'll go to a first and 10 for the Scotties. As the Scotties here have 7.05 left here in the first quarter. So. Still no one has scored here, and Highland's taking a good time here to get down the field here as Kaysan here gets the uh, hand off there, and that'll be a loss of a yard there as uh, Bumcom there will go ahead and get the uh, uh, the uh, loss of the yards. Now we'll go to now do a third and nine here, the third down conversion here for Highland as, uh, of course, these two teams played just last year. The uh, first game was, of course, in uh, there in Stanford. As you see there, nice catch there from Tolber, who gets the big first down there. The big tight end is really stepping up here since the uh, early part of the season here. Of course, he had to step up because he had to take over for Hunter Cannon as Cannon was taken out of that game there in uh, Georgia. As you see, Case on there, he will get a run there, and that's going to be a gain of six there. He has now 12 yards in the play, or 12 yards in the game so far here. Let's go to another third down conversion here for Highland. And we'll see what they can do here. He's going to keep this one on the ground here. Kaysan gets around the def gets away from that defender there was coming in there on that blitz. And he is able to get the first down to the first down marker there for the first. So nice job there from the run. As you see here, Highland now looks like they're going to keep it on the ground here. Hand this one up to Kaysan. Kaysan's going to go on the outside edge there and get it into the end zone. Touchdown, Highland. As that's a two yard touch rushing touchdown there. 4K Son, as you see there, he has broken his record from just a season ago with 19 now this year with 20 
rushing touchdown. So now we'll see now third and 10 here as we'll go ahead and see what Stanford can do here on their first drive here. Try and convert for the first down. And we'll see what they can do as uh, Chrysler, uh, the quarterback here. He's also going up for the Heisman here. He's been a lot of Heisman talk there. And that's a nice catch from Tyler as Jay Tyler gets a 51-yard reception. And Stanford Cardinals are like, ah, we're going to stay in this game here. We're not going to uh, get away from this one too uh, too early here. As we'll see, Love here gets a run, and Bryce Love will get a third or a three-yard gain there for uh, a third or second and seven here for the Cardinals. So Stanford Cardinals here now. Chrysler is will sit, drops back here. He's going to go ahead and call his own number here. Montgomery trying to get a hold of him, but I believe Ellis will get the uh, no. That's not Ellis. Not sure who that was there, but he will get the tackle, and that'll be a loss or be a game, short game there, but not enough there to get the first down. And you see there, they'll go ahead and kick for a field goal, and the field goal is good. So there's three points on the board there for the Stanford Carters now, making it now 7-3 here. So in the first quarter, we'll see Kason here runs this one on the outside there, but he will get stopped for only a gain of two on the play, and that is going to put now 24 yards there for 10 carries for Kason. As we'll see a second and eight. And we'll see what Flanagan here is now going to do here. He's going to go ahead and he's going to try to see. He's going to run this one here. He's, yep, he's going to call his own number there. And he's going to get down to the first down marker. And that is going to be a huge first down. First and ten there for the Scotties. As we'll go now to a first and ten here. As they keep the clock moving here. A minute 30 left here in the first quarter. And we'll see here. Flanagan He's going to drop back here. He's going to drop back deep here. But too deep. As he gets taken down there for a loss of 10 on the sack. Robinson on the play. Great job there defensively. Stopping Flanagan now. We'll see if that sack right there is going to cause a, a hesitation here in this drive. As we'll go ahead and see here. Second and 20. This is a pass play there to Blair. Terrence Blair who gets to a third and, fifth, or third and five. So third and five now here. And with 24 seconds left here in the first quarter, we'll see if Holland is going to try to advance this ball here before they have to switch sides here. And that's going to be a great catch there from Grady Little. Little going down the sideline, the 20, the 10, inside the 5, and that is a touchdown for Highland as the Scotties are on the board here. Oh, great throw there. And that's how the second quarter is going, or how the first quarter is going to end. And as we go to the second quarter now, 14-3. Highland up here, as we'll see, a very uh, grow a good run there from Bryce Love. It's, he only gets a yard on the play, but he looked pretty good there. I almost could have bust that one out if he had a little bit more blocking there. As we'll see now a third and eight here. They're going to try to convert. And we'll see Chrysler here. Throws this one up the middle there to St. Brown. St. Brown gets the catch, and Barl gets the tackle. 16-yard reception. First and ten there for the Stanford Cardinals. So Stanford here now. Drive back here. Chrysler here. He's looking. He's going to go ahead and run here. Tisdale's going to try to track him down. We'll see uh, Fumble there as recovered by Snar. The lineman there for the Cardinals as uh, St. Brown or St. Brown or no, uh, Chrysler there runs on that one and fumbles the ball. But they get the recovery. Let's go down third and ten here. A throw. And that is going to be caught by Barrow. That's going to be interception there for the Scotties. As Barrow's going to try to take this one back here. He gets back to the own 30. That's a nice play there. And Stanford cannot believe what is going on there offensively for them today. So now we'll see now a first and ten here for Flanagan. Flanagan drops back there and throws that one. Try to throw that one to Kaysan as that is no good, his uh, incomplete pass. So we'll go now to a third and six here. We'll advance some here in the play. And we'll see what Flanagan can do as uh, play clock drops down to three. We'll see Flanagan drops back here, throws this one to Blair. Blair gets the catch, and he's inside the 20. Mark him somewhere near the 14 there for the Highland Scotties as it'll be a first and 10, a new set of downs for the Scotties. The number five ranked Scotties in the nation as we'll see here they're going to call it an audible here Flanagan doesn't like what he sees from the defense here so he's going to change it up here he's going to take his time here play clock running down to six got to snap this one here if they're going to try to get this one off but oh the defense reads the de uh, offensive line did not read the blitz there and they get caught and that's a huge loss there as we go down to a third and 18 and we'll see what the Scotty's going to do this time around here 
I wouldn't be surprised if they call a play action. That's exactly what they're going to do. Flying up throws that one up there to uh, Cannon. And Cannon gets the catch. And he's in there inside the five. Look at the replay here. Great throw. Great catch there. Of course, these two have been uh, connecting with each other all uh, these last, these first two seasons now since Highland's been a uh, a uh, school here in Division One now. A small Division One school here. And they've been a great connection here. See a good catch and a throw there from Flanagan to Blair. And that's a four-yard reception of a touchdown there. Second of the day there for Flanagan. The first of the day for Blair. And that's going to be now a 21-3 ball game. So now second and seven here for the Stanford Cardinals. As we'll see, Love will get the handoff there. And Love's going down the sidelines there. Finally, he's taken down there. 17-yard gain for the first down. So first and ten here. We'll, we'll see Cardinals still on the field here. And Love again gets his number called, and he will get stopped there as the defense does a great job there sniffing out the run. And that's a loss of two. So we'll go now to a second and 12 for, this, uh, for the Cardinals here. As we'll see Scarlett here gets got, caught in the backfield there. Loss of three. And it's going to make it now a third and 15. So third and 15 now here for the Cardinals here. Cardinals trying to get on the board here. They've only got three points here so far. 520 left here in this first half here. We'll see Carson or uh, Chrysler here throws this one there. He's going to have to throw that one away. And that is going to be an incomplete pass there for the Cardinals. And it's going to be a, now a, uh, punt return, a, punt return, a punt for them. And now a first and 10 here inside the 30 here for the Cardinals here or for the Scotties here. As we'll see a case on here. Gets hit hard there. And he only gets two on the play. So now we'll go to a second and eight for the Scotties here. Flanagan here, of course, being the air traffic controller here in this drive here. Trying to make sure his guys here are in the right spot here. Flanagan is going to drop back deep here. And no, he's going to go ahead and take off now. He's going to go get some positive yards here. Gets to the first down marker and gets a huge first down using his legs there. Nice job there of uh, calling his own number there that time. As we'll see now, first and 10 here for Flanagan. Could we see another running play here? This time they're going to hand off to Kaysong. Kaysong gets a good block on the outside there. He's going down the sidelines here. This could be going inside the end zone. And it does. Touchdown, Scotties. And the Scotties are on the board once again. It's going to be now a four-possession lead here. And it's 28-3. So now under four minutes now here in the uh, first half here. So we see Chrysler here, calls his own number here. And we see him do this again. Last time he did this, he fumbled the ball. But he gets nine on the play. And that's going to be a second and one. So second and one for the Cardinals here. As we'll see what the Cardinals will be able to do this time around. As we'll see Chrysler here drops back here. He looks, fires, throws one to St. Brown. St. Brown gets it, and he will... Be, oh, they say he caught that. And that is going to be a first down. So nice job there for St. Brown to be able to hold on to the football there. As we go now to a first and 10 here. Chrysler here throws this one up for a jump ball. And that one is going to be caught by Caden Smith. But the booth says they're going to review this call here. And we'll see exactly what the call is as it's going to be. Oh, close call there. I have to go ahead and say we have to give him that one as he kept his feet in bounds. And that is going to be, yeah, the ruling really on the field is going to stand. Yeah, you have to give that to him. He kept his, only needs one foot in bounds. And that's exactly what he did. So now we'll go first team here for the Cardinals to make a great catch there. So we'll see this one zing up the middle there to St. Brown. St. Brown will get the catch for seven yards. And it's going to be a second and three. So here we go, second and three. Here we go, third and three for the Cardinals. As Chrysler here drops back here, fires over this one up the middle to Stewart, and he cannot hold on to it. As now they're going to have to go for a field goal here. This one is going to be a long one here. It's going to be about a 55 yarder. This kick is up, and this kick is good. And Stanford's on the board now, 28 to 6. So only twice now they've scored, and those have both been field goals. they got to get into the end zone here at some point. Got to get themselves together to see Flanagan here. Throws this one late. Gets that one to Hunter Cannon. That was almost a dangerous throw. Almost got a safety on that call. 
but he throws it as he gets hit. Nice job there from Hunter Cannon. Now first and 10 here, Can or Flanagan here is going to run this one here. He's going to go down the field, runs this one, throws this one on the run, and gives that one to Grady Little for a gain of seven. They get second and three. So now second and three here for, I believe, uh, for the Scotties here. As we'll see here, they're going to try, look like they're going to try to slow this down some as they're under two minutes here. They don't have to do too much here. They already got the lead as Little gets there, breaks the tackle and gets down on the other side of the 50. Mark him near the 48-yard line there for the first. So first and 10 here for the Scotties. As it's still 28-6 here. Flanagan here is going to call go run here. And he's going to take off here. He's going to go ahead and call his own number here. He's going to get out of bounds. Nice run there. 14 on the play. Over 100 yards rushing now for the Scotties. And we'll see now first and 10. Scotty's looking to try to score here before the half ends. As C. Flanagan here throws us one up there. And that one almost gets picked away by Ben Edwards. Deflects the pass there. And it's going to be complete there for the Scotty's QB. So now third and eight here. As we'll see here, now a uh, change of a play here as he's going to call audible. Looks like it's going to, they're going to have to start to snap this ball here as they go ahead and run an option there. And Kaysong gets lit up and they're in the backfield. Loss of two. And Highland's now going to go for here on fourth and ten. So fourth and ten. Don't know what Highland's trying to do here. I think maybe they're trying to make a point here. And we'll see what they can do now. Fourth and ten here for Flanagan. He's taking his time here. Maybe trying to see if they can jump him offside here and try to get a first down a cheap way here. But it looks like they're going to go ahead and they're going to call a timeout as they cannot get the other team to jump. And they're going to go ahead and kick a field goal here. This will be about a 45-yard kick here. And we'll see. Uh, or actually about a 47-yard kick here. We'll see if McCutcheon can get it. And McCutcheon cannot as he that one just goes wide right. No good there. So still 28-6 here after that field goal attempt. Cardinals here will come back out here. They'll try to get a couple plays in before the half ends. The St. Brown gets an 8-yard reception. And they're going to have to call no huddle here as they do so here. So now second and two here for the Cardinals. Cardinals here trying to get down the field here and try to score something. As Chrysler here calls and calls no number here. Gets to taken down. And that right there is going to be a timeout now for the Stanford Cardinals. As they have one timeout remaining. Highland also has one timeout remaining also. As we'll see now, first and ten here. Chrysler looks, throws this one up there. That is batted away from Adams, who makes a nice stop. Nice job there defensively, putting his hands up. Now this could be the last play of the quarter or the half here. As we'll see now, second and ten for the Scotties or for the uh, Cardinals. Or should say, uh, he'll throw this one off to the side there to Love and Love will go ahead and get drilled, and he will get uh, will he get out of bounds. I don't know. I don't think he got out of bounds there. Oh, they say he did, so the clock will stop here, and they're going to try another field goal attempt here. This is going to be about a 48, 49-yard kick, and that is good as the Scotties give up another three points on the board here. Give up three field goals here. Not too bad there, for at least for Coach Teddy Bond's uh, uh, preference there. But it is a 28 to 9 ball game. Hyla is on clicking it here today, especially on defense, only giving up nine points. And we'll see if they, uh, if the Cardinals can make any kind of adjustments here to what Highland's defense is doing here today, and try to make this a competitive game here. But so far, Highland has been hot here, especially moving the ball down the field uh, through the air and really through the ground also too. So it's been kind of balanced here. And we'll see if that will continue here as we go into the second half. As you take a look at a halftime score there. And you see, like I said, Highland's doing a pretty good job there. Pretty balanced there. 109 yards rushing to uh, 215 yards passing. As for Stanford, 221 there in passing and 49 yards rushing. And only one turnover so far in the ball game. That is from Stanford uh, as they got picked off there. So Chrysler, of course, back on the field here with... Bryce Love there in the backfield. We'll see Chrysler here. He'll run, go ahead, and he's going to call his own number here. He's going to run this one down. He's going to get hit, and he will be taken down for the 11-yard game. Big hit there, but he is able to hold on to the football. Nice job there. 
As now we'll go to a first and ten here. Hand this one off to Love, and Love will get stopped in the backfield there as he gets no yardage there at all. And it'll be a second and ten. Well, now we'll move on here to a third and ten here. Big play here for Cardinals, as we'll see Chrysler here. He'll get, he's trying to scramble here, trying to get away, but he cannot find nobody. And that's going to be incomplete there for the Cardinals, as they're now they'll be forced to punt. So first and 10 here for the uh, Highland Scotties. As they're trying to make their way back to the national picture here, as we'll see Kaysan here runs this one there, gets to the first down mark and gets an extra more as he gets about 14 on the play. First and 10 for the Scotties. So now first and 10, moving the ball here very well here on their own, I uh, believe, uh, 38. Or excuse me, 35, excuse me, 36 yard line here as they flank in here, drops back here, looking, fires, throws this one to Page. Page gets the catch and he'll get a gain of eight on the play. I believe that's his first reception of the game here today. Nice job there seeing him on the play. As we'll see what they can do now with a second and two. Play clock running down to five. We'll see if Flanking can get this one off here. He will drop back, looks, fires, throws this one up the middle there. Again, Page gets another great catch and another eight yard gain for another first down. So first and 10 here for the Scotties. As we'll see here, Flanagan here, calling an audible here. Doesn't like, doesn't really care for what he's seeing on the field there defensively, as we'll see a pass there again to Page, and Page gets another eight yards. Making it out 24 yards, three receptions here in the game. Nice job there as Flanagan has, again, broken another record there compared to last year. And beating it only by three yards there. Congratulations to him on that one. He is definitely setting some records here for the future Scotty's quarterbacks here. As we've got a couple here uh, in today. As we've got Jasper Reed here. Uh, he's showing up here in today's game. As we'll see, I believe he is here today. I'm not, I'm not mistaken. I might have to get that checked out from the interns here. But we'll see there. Nice throw there to Hunter Cannon. Hunter Cannon gets a catch, breaks a tackle, and gets taken down there. A gain of 13, and he has five receptions for 79 yards. First and 10 here for Highlands. We'll see what they can do here in this uh, drive here. If they can finish this off with the pass somewhere in the some kind of ball in the end zone. So that one gets batted away there. Dangerous pass as the defensive lineman there right up on his face there. And they're able to put their hands up and stop it. So now we go to a second and 10. We'll see what the Scotties can do now here on this drive. As we'll see, yeah, play clock running down to seven. As Flanagan throws this one up the middle there to Hunter Cannon. And Cannon will get stopped. And that's a gain of 15 on the play. First and 10 for Highlands. They're doing a great job here moving the ball. As we go down to a first and 10. Hand off there to Kaysong. Kaysong got some good blocking here. Going on the outside edge there. He should have went back in. But they do get three on the play. So now second and seven. Flanagan here, calling an audible here. Looks like it could be another running play as in the eye formation. We'll see a handoff there, Kaysan here looking for the good blocking here. He got one man to the feet and there you see he does get the first down, but gets stopped at the one and he cannot get in the end zone. So we'll see if he can finish this off here as we'll see a first and goal. It looks like it could be going to him once again to finish this one. Finish this drive off here. Pretty much his, he's been dominant. He does it there. Nice job. Rushing touchdown there. Another one. Second one of the day there for Flanagan or for Kaysan. And now it's 35-9. So we'll see. Now Cardinals back out here on offense here. So we'll see second and 10. St. Brown here gets. No, he breaks a tackle. And Ellis has to bring him down. And he gets a gain of eight on the play. Five receptions, 44 yards for Brown. So now third and two. We'll see if they'll be able to convert here. We'll see if uh, Love will be involved in this or Chrysler. We'll see a pass there to Smith. Smith gets the catch. The big tight end taken down there. Gain of 19 on the play. First down. So first and 10 here for Chrysler. We'll see him. He'll drop back here. Looks, fires, throws this one to his halfback there. Love. Love is breaking a tackle but finally gets pulled down by a gang of Scotties. For a gain of eight on the play. Makes it now second and two. So second and two. 
Chrysler has an open backfield here. Throws this one up there in the middle there to uh, Caden Smith. Caden Smith gets a gain of four on the play. And he does get enough there for the first down. So, nice job there throwing this to his big tight end. As we'll see now here, a first and ten. Tight ends in motion again here. So, of course, could be going to him. As we'll see, uh, Chrysler here throws this one. There you see Harrington, the other tight end, gets involved. And he gets six yards on the play. Scooter Harrington, what a name. Second and four. You see an open backfield here again for the Cardinals here. As Chrysler here calls his own number here. He's going down the field. He's going to get hit by Adams, but he holds on to it. And he gets a gain of 13 on that run. Nice job there. Highland trying to hit, the, hit these quarterbacks hard. Or hit the quarterback hard today, but it's not doing so well. As he's been doing a good job there ever since he dropped that fumble earlier. He's been holding on to it. So second and 12, we'll see here what Chrysler can do here. Could be a passing situation. No, Love's going to go ahead and get a ticket on the outside there. He's going to get a good game there. And it's a gain of six on the play. He has now 12 carries for 26 yards. Let's go down to a third and five. So third and five here for the Scotties. As we'll see what, or for, excuse me, for the Cardinals here. As they're in Scotty's territory here, Chrysler looking for, and whoa. That one, I think he threw because of press and pressure there. And again, they're going to have to go for another field goal. So we'll see him make another field goal attempt here. We'll see if this time the Scotties can try to stop him here. So we'll see. Kick is up. And it is good. And it's now 35 to 12. So four kick, or four field goals now for Stanford. Have not yet gotten the end zone here. As we'll see Flanagan here drops back here, looks, fires. Those are up the middle there to Blair. And Blair is gone. He is t just a this is a just a track meet there. He is taken off and he is definitely gone. And that is a touchdown there for the Scotties. As that is now gonna take this game really out of reach here. It's gonna be 42 to 12 now here at Kensington Field here as the Highland Scotties have been dominant here over number 10, Stanford. What a game this has been. So we'll see here. Chrysler here, he's going to take off here. He's going to break a tackle, but finally get wrapped up there by Ellis on that second. And uh, second is something there. Both now to a third and five here. We'll see Chrysler here throws this one there to St. Brown. St. Brown gets short there. He gets about fourth and inches, and they'll be forced to punt. So here we go, the fourth quarter now here. First and ten for the Scotties. And we'll see what the Scotties will be able to do here today. In this one, as we'll go to a uh, pass play there, and oh, good tackle there is Melt Melton. Try to get the catch there, and he gets hit hard. So it's going to be a uh, no good there, an uh, incomplete pass. As we go now to a second and ten, see if the Scotties could uh, try to do something here with a play action here for Flanagan. Flanagan throws this one up there to Hunter Cannon. Hunter Cannon gets catch, and he gets knocked down near the 45-yard line. Steel in Scotty's territory. Nice catch there from Hunter Cannon. Of course, he has been racking up the numbers here ever since he's been back, trying to catch up with his fellow teammates here. Of course, uh, you know, we kind of thought this year could be his year here. He could be one another Heisman uh, contender, but, you know, with all those games he's missed, uh, it's been a rough time for him. And uh, he, has, he, had a, he has a lot of time off there. Of course, uh, we mentioned it a couple episodes ago. He was a big fan of the new Spider-Man game that's out, and he's been playing the hell out of it. Yeah, he just recently told me he just uh, finished the DLCs there, so something, uh, you know, besides uh, working on schoolwork, you know, of course, you know, guy asked me that. He, he said, no, I've been working on schoolwork also. Yeah. We'll see Tolbert there gets a good catch there as Marcel Tolbert gets a gain of six on the play. So now third and four here for the Scotties. As we'll see, it looks like it could be another pass play way little is set up there and he's going to be in the inside slot there as we'll see Flanagan here throws this one that's going to be a pass and that is going to be a great catch and that is going to be Tolbert with their 18 yard reception there for the first down nice job there as Tolbert's been really doing a great job here stepping up this season ever since he had to take over the tight end position as that's a great catch there to Page and what the heck was Page doing he got out of bounds near the two so now we'll go to a first and goal here. It could have been an easy touchdown there. 
But for whatever reason, Page goes out. Great catch there to Hunter Cannon. And that is a two-yard reception there to Hunter Cannon for the touchdown. Makes it now 49 to 12. So now first and 10 here. We'll see as uh, Chrysler here. He's going to call his own number here. He's going to take off down the field here. And he just gets down the field. No problem there. 23 yards on the play on, this, on the ground there for a first down. 7.35 left here in the fourth quarter. Chrysler here looks back, fires, throws this one deep to Stewart, and Stewart is going all the way as Adams cannot find catch him until he gets into the end zone. Donald Stewart, 52 yards there on that touchdown reception. And Stanford's on the board here, but it's already too late as this one's got out of hand there, and the defense lets up there. As we'll see here, yeah, Adams gets there on time. He doesn't get there on time there. And they get the touchdown there. First touchdown of the day there for the Stanford Cardinals. So Highland's back on the ground here again. We'll see now the second string offense is going to come out here as uh, Rush there. Hands off there to McCollum. As McCollum will, of course, get six on the play for a third and four. Now third and four here. We'll see McCollum in the background here. Of course, some of the second stringers there. Or most of the second stringers there, the second string offenses out there. Page here gets a great catch there. And that's going to be a 13 yard reception for him. And it's going to be a first down. So now, uh, second and 10, we'll see if the Scotties can. Uh, of course, they just try to run the clock down here as much as they possibly can. Don't really need a score. Uh, we'll see handoff there to McClellan. McClellan will go ahead and he will get that one. He will only get a couple there on the play. As uh, it'll be a now a third and eight. So here we go now, third and eight. Really don't need to do anything, just but just to convert here. Don't need a score. As it's 49-19. 30 point lead here from the Scotties. As Rush here drops back here. He's looking. Fires this one deep there to Page. And Page gets the catch. Nice reception. 30 yards on the play. First and ten there for the Scotties. We'll go now to another play here. First and 10. In uh, Cardinals territory here, I believe at the 30-yard line. And we'll see. We'll throw, it's actually 25-yard line. And Rush looks back, fires, throws this one up there to Phillips. Phillips gets a catch. And Grant Phillips, the backup wide receiver, second string wide receiver, gets in there and gets a touchdown. It's now 56 to 19. So a nice 36-point uh, game here. As we'll see, uh, the Scotties here. Look, fires, throws this one there. That is going to be a catch. And that is going to be a uh, reception. As that right there pretty much ends this. This one is much, the Scotties uh, pretty much uh, could not really do anything. Uh, or I should say the Cardinals could not really do anything today, but the Scotties on the hand did a great job there. Hunter or Flanagan there, 23 of 29, 419 yards, and several touchdowns there. I believe four for the game here for him. As the Highland Scotties get the victory, and they'll win this one at home, 56-19 against number 10 ranked Stanford. What a game here! Not a lot to talk about, but for the most part here, they played a well, played like a well-oiled machine here. And Stanford will definitely probably would like to have a rematch next week or next year there. We'll have to see if we can put them on the schedule. But for the most part here, it was a great game there offensively and defensively there, especially only giving that, that one long bomb touchdown there to Stewart uh, towards uh, there in the fourth quarter. But for the most part here, a great game. Like I said, Hunter uh, Flanagan or Hunter, excuse me, Flanagan, Alex Flanagan, 29 or 23 of 29 there, if I can get it correct. Uh, 419 yards, four touchdowns, two sacks. Uh, Rush, he also played the game. Of course, uh, he had that. Th he was three for three in the game. 69 yards and one touchdown. Kason, 18 carries, 111 yards, and three rushing touchdowns there for him. Of course, he had a fumble, uh, but it was recovered by Flanagan. Flanagan had six carries, 25 yards there in the ball game for him. As you guys take a look at some of the stats there. And, of course, a big day there for Hunter Cannon. Can't forget about him. We've been talking about him throughout the game. Eight receptions, 119 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Page had uh, six receptions, 95 yards. Little, uh, four receptions, 100 yards there for a day for him. So I kind of call that day for him. 
Um, and his numbers kind of been going down since we've gotten Canner back, but that was kind of expected. He kind of figured that. Uh, but he also has a touchdown there. And then uh, Blair, four receptions, 106 yards, two touchdowns. Phillips, of course, for one reception, 25 yards, and one touchdown for him. And defensively, Tisdale just had a great day there. He had the most tackles. He had eight for the day. As we'll take a look at some of those defensive numbers right now. And there you see uh, Blanco had four tackles there. Uh, we'll see who are the most tackles for loss there. Uh, Cohen and Tolbert, the most sacks. Eli, or uh, uh, Ellis there, not Eli, Ellis, <laughs> with, uh, with one. So there you see the numbers there for Stanford. Take a look at those numbers, guys. Check those out. But for the most part here, it's been a great game. And a great way to end the season. Now, the question is, was this good enough for us to jump up into the top two of the nation? Well, we don't have a game next week. This is, was our final game of the season. There is one more week to play. And then, of course, you got the conference uh, championships there. Of course, we don't have one as we're an independent team. And of course, at some point here, we will uh, join a uh, – at least I'm talking to Coach uh, Teddy Bonds there. He says uh, year four will be the year they'll probably join a conference there. Uh, depending on if they get one, if you know if someone invites them early um, to uh, join a conference there. But uh, he has a sight set on the Big 12 or the Sun Belt. So those will be the two teams or two leagues, conferences we'll be partially looking at in year four. But, you know, of course, that's just two years from now. But take a look there. We are ranked number two in the nation. Yes. So that's going to be great for us. But the question is, are we one of the two teams that could be possibly playing here? Well, I will tell you when we come up in the next uh, the next video, which will be the Scotty, Sp Scotty Sports Talk. There is a uh, there is a log jam in the BCS. We'll tell you more about that coming up here. Unfortunately, we're not going to be one of those teams. We're going to be one of the teams looking outside, looking in. So we'll see how that goes coming up in the next episode uh, that'll be uh, coming up here in about another day or two uh scotty sports talk there so stay tuned for that uh, we'll talk about that and how our what our chances are to get to the national championship we are ranked number two in the nation right now 11 and 1 but that does not mean we're guaranteed a shot at the national championship and also not to mention there was an upset this week we'll talk about that in the next episode coming up in scotty nation yeah there was an upset, and it was a big one. Trust me. It's going to be nice. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons why we're number two uh, this week. But that is it for this episode of uh, Scotty of uh, the Scotty's, Highland Scotty's Team Builder Dynasty. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Highland Scotty's football here on ESGN Net. Uh, hit that. Uh, don't Like I said, don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe if, you have, uh, that, if you're a new member. I want to be a part of the ESGN Nation. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you guys can be notified when the videos of this series or any other series is uploaded to the channel. And as always, keep yourselves and your other healthy, and I will see you guys next time.